Invoked Mech Knight! Mech Knight invoked. Invoke Mech. Voke Ek. Ek. Oak. I don't know where I'm going with this. Alright, you guys, so in this video, I have one of my MetaMats teammates. I, I, I think he's. Is he one of my teammates? Either way, guys, I'm going to be showing a top 32 deck profile from Mike Zimini, who got top 32 at YCS Salt Lake City this weekend, and he did so playing Mech Knight Invoked, and he did so in spectacular fashion, right down to not even playing Pot of Desires, which actually really caught my attention watching this deck profile back, because I was like, wow, he's not even playing Desires for the extra plus, or sorry, for the extra nag. Oh god, that joke's so old. Anyways, no, for real, I was like, hey, he's not playing the Desires for the extra plus, that's actually really interesting. And in this video, guys, Mike talks about all of his matchups, what his losses were, uh, what he beats. He just talks about everything, guys, and you are in for a real treat because I thought I was going to have to talk over this video, um, you know, to, to properly uh, relay everything that he says because of all the background noise, you know, at regionals and YCS. It's just any event in general, you know, and um, it was actually quiet. This clip is really quiet, so I don't have to really do anything. He gets to, you know, speak in all of his, you know, he gets to tell you everything himself, which is really great. I don't have to, you know, sit there and watch everything over and then I repeat what he says like I plan to which is really great I mean the only thing awkward here is now I'm just like what do I do with my extra time? But anyways, guys, we need to get into this deck profile, but really quick, one last thing before I get into this deck profile, before I show off everything, um, and before we get to the fan mail, of course, um, I have to give a huge shout out, of course, to all of our sponsors, metamats.com. They sponsor Mike, whose deck profile you're about to see. They sponsored Jamie, who recorded this deck profile for me, which was freaking great. And Jamie's shout out was actually the other shout out. So let's go ahead and get into this deck profile and then open some fan mail. Hey guys, Jamie Randolph here with Team Metamats with our sponsored player, Mike Zamiti. And Mike, why don't you tell us what you this weekend. I win uh, top 32 with McKnight and Vogue. What was your uh, final standings after Swiss? Uh, after Swiss, it was 7, 2, and 1, and then uh, I lost my top 32 match, unfortunately. So. Uh, what decks did you play? Uh, McKnight invoked uh, 20 monsters, 20 spells, no traps. Ooh. You, got, you got anything else to say before we get into the profile about your matchups or anything? I played against Pendulum, 2-1. Uh, uh, round 2 I 2 at ABC, I made 3 Macabas. Um, round 3 I played Spiral, wasn't expecting that, um, and I beat him 2-1. Uh, round 4 I beat Chu Draco 2-1. Uh, round 5 I lost against a mirror match. Uh, he had barrier um, and he hard drew Al uh, invocation so uh, round six I 2 would pendulum round seven um, I 2 would mech knight invoked and then around eight I had a tie uh, with pendulum so that made me uh, x101 at the time and then uh, round nine um, I lost against uh, Chu Draco I had a feature match and uh, he just had like all the outs. He had anti-spell fragrance, and um, he had dimensional barrier game too, and everything. So I got two out. Um, and then round ten, I beat sixty card um, zombie light sworn nonsense. And uh, round eleven, I lost uh, my top thirty-two match against Pendulum. So. All right, let's get into the profile. Then. All right, let's so got. we got some hand traps here. Uh, three effect Valor. Yep. Uh, three ghost ogre. All right. <clears throat> um, we got three Ash Blossom. Yep. Um, I chose these specifically instead of like Gamma or um, Droll or Cherries because Ash hits almost like every single deck. Uh, it doesn't do so much against Pendulum, but if they played the version... Designated from the Grave. Uh, yep, Designated from the Grave. It doesn't... I'd ha rather have him stop this than my Ghost Ogre or my Ash, or my uh, Effect Veiler. Um, and these two just hurt Pendulum very well, like yep. more than... Ash does. Um, and then obviously the three Alistair. Uh, you want to see this more than every other card, but sometimes that doesn't happen. That's the game. Uh, I played for my Mech Knights uh, three Purple Nightfall, uh, three Blue Sky, uh, one Indigo, and one Red Moon. Um, a lot of people cut this and are just running these or run like two more of these. And I think this card is very clutch. It gets over a lot of problem cards. Um, it's 2300 attack, so. It's, not too bad. Um, that's it for my monsters, it's 20 monsters. Uh, for my spells, I ran uh, triple terraforming and two magical meltdown. Um, I chose this ratio because uh, you don't want to see multiples of this, you just want to see it once. And uh, a lot of the times that I do see this, I see multiples of this and like a terraforming and an Alistair, and I'm like, I can't do like anything. 
So I'd rather run three of these and two of these. Um, and I can also set terraforming in my back row for a mech knight, and I can't do that with a field spell. Right. So um, that worked very well today, and I'm very happy that I chose this. Um, I ran double invocation. Uh, a lot of people play three because they play desires. Um, I don't play desires. Um, and I drew both of these twice, and I lost because of it, because I just break with it without an Alistair, so. That's whatever. Uh, I played a mini spellbook engine, one secrets, uh, and two knowledges. Um, this worked, worked very well too because you can set them and then summon your mech knight guy, summon Alistair. If they negate your Alistair, you just knowledge it away. Um, I also I played two instant fusions. Um, this is really, really good too, and a lot of people don't expect this. So I, uh, I activated this early in a round and I sucked up their monster with Thousand Eyes Restrict and then I knowledge it away and drew two cards. Um, and it just it plus, made me plus and get rid of like their problem card. So uh, I really like this card a lot. I might bump it up to three. Uh, I played one Reborn, uh, one Regeki. Um, not much to say about this. Regeki's so good. You just I've done this before too. I've set it and then summon a Mech Knight, moved over, summon a Mech Knight, search, summon Alice to do my thing, and then board wipe them. And it's, it's just yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, one of the MVPs of the deck is definitely Scapegoat. A lot of people are definitely not playing this in this deck, and I don't know why. Um, this gets over so many cards. It makes you get Saruja, makes Bora load, um, extend your plays, it protects you. Uh, I would definitely recommend playing like Scapegoat in almost like every deck that's not like Pendulum. Um, and then my last three are three mind control, and uh, this was really good too. I just bait out try to take their vortex or something in pendulum and then negate it and then just make a purgatory and kill everybody it's like it's really it's really good all right you want to give us the extra deck next sure uh, i played one link karibo uh one link spider one under clock taker one proxy dragon one mrs radiant <clears throat> um not much to say about this uh these are usually just to get to the next step to either make saruja or borload um I go into Underclock a lot, usually mind control a monster, normal summon Alistair search, and then make Underclock Taker, and then make my fusion monster and target their stuff to make them lose their attack. Um, or summon a Mech Knight underneath him and do the same thing. It's, this is like one of the better cards in it, but you definitely need these. Like I might cut Mrs. Radiant for a different card later on, but this is still really good too. Um, and then I do one Gaia Saber, and a lot of people don't run this either, but because I use it with Scapegoat, so if I have like a fusion or a guy, my, a guy in the extra deck zone, um, or the link zone, I can, for example, like if I have like a Kaba in here and I have like a scapegoat set, I can summon my scapegoats, then get rid of my Makaba to summon this, uh, and two tokens, and then make a uh, proxy dragon, and then I can make two fusions or go into, you know, another, like Borlo or do whatever with other cards. Like it really extends plays and um, actually. My two Draco match that I lost, if I'd made Underclock Taker and had Alistair underneath it, instead I had a, uh, a Link Karibo, I could have lowered the um, the masterpiece that he had that was unaffected by spells and traps, and then I could have made this and attacked over it and killed it, and I would have been in a better position, but I just didn't think about it at the time, so it was, I guess, a misplay, but... Uh, and then Saruja and Borla Dragon. Um, not much to say, they're really, really good. Uh, I tried to make this lots of times against uh, two Draco, and they just kept stopping my plays ahead of time, and Saruja, I made twice, and it made me win the game of time, so really good. Uh, for my fusions, uh, three Makabas. I had it at two, I bumped it up to three. Uh, it worked today for ABC, and uh, I'm very happy with that. I'll probably keep it at three. Um, I ran one Purgatrio, I used to run two. Um, I usually only make Purgatrio because I'm gonna try to kill them that turn anyways, so I don't really don't go into another one. Um, and then I won. I ran one Mega Lanica. Um, I didn't make it all today, but I have in testing, and it's like ridiculous. So I think I'm gonna keep this in here for now. But when maybe the new Alistair Meltdown guy comes out, I'm gonna probably run Elysium instead of him. Um, and then for my instant fusion targets, uh, Ragin and Thousand Eyes Restrict. And uh, Thousand Eyes, obviously, real good. Um, a lot of people don't expect it. And then Ragin, I had a field spell up. And I activate an instant fusion, it can't negate the instant fusion. And then I summon a Ragin, and then on the summon of Ragin, I activate its effect to Book of Moon, their, uh, what is it, the Har Harbringer. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he couldn't do anything to negate with anything else, and that allowed me to activate Regeki, and it just word wiped them. Um, so this is very good too. And then we'll do our side deck here. Uh, 
uh, sighted three Lancia. Uh, Lancia is really, really good for the mirror match, and it's also really good for uh, the 60 card deck. Um, it won me a game versus the 60 card deck, and actually for uh, the mirror match also. So uh, I'm going to keep this in because I feel like Inferno Raids is going to be really popular soon with that uh, new structure deck coming out. So yep. it's going to be a really good card to keep in. Um, I cited the Kaijus, uh, four of them in Slumber. Any reason you played four over three? Um, well, I cited three with the lower attack and one with the higher attack, and it's a fire. So um, if I have Slumber, then I'll give them a lower one and give this to myself. And then if, if I want to link it away and use Purgatory, I could do that. Uh, but really the reasoning behind four is that usually you draw one um, and then you'll have slumber so you'll just slumber them away or whatever they have and then give them two and you still have one to search later. So a lot of the times that I will do I'll either draw one or two and I won't be able to activate slumber if I only ran three. Yeah. So uh, it worked out very well also. Um, these are really good because I get to tribute my opponent's monsters and then put them in the same zone as a spell or trap or uh, different monster zone or whatever I need to do to summon my mech knights, so yep. it's, it's really good. Um, I ran three cosmic cyclones, one MST, and then three typhoons. Um, Joe Bogley uh, um, gave me the idea of this uh, the night before, and we were just thinking about side deck cards, and he was like, Typhoon's really good against Pendulum, and it's really good against two Draco. Yep. And um, I said to him that I don't really have an issue versus two Draco because I side the Kaijus and I side other like back row hate. But I was like, you know what, this is really good because Inspector Border and um, the Inawata Wado card, yep. uh, the Spirit card. Yep. Um, and one of my opponents didn't realize that I uh, he summoned Inawata and then tries to activate his field spell to pop um, a card on the field. Yep. And I just destroyed his field spell with this. And he was like looking at it and he was like, oh yeah, I guess uh, I can't do anything. Mm. And this guy goes back to his hand, he passed his turn, I OTK'd him. So it was like, it was really good. Um, I chose an MST instead of like a Twin Twister because um, with this deck, yeah, you can gain advantage, but I really don't want to get rid of any cards. Yep. Um, they don't really do as much as um, like as they do in my hand. So. Yeah. Uh, I sided in, in the green. Right, right. And I sided in one. Uh, I drew it once and I got rid of a Iron Wolf with it. So yeah. it worked out clearly because I can't banish it with this. So All right. it worked pretty well. Awesome. So, uh, you got any, any shout outs to give? Um, up? Yep, shout outs to uh, Metamats, my, my sponsor. Um, very great. The, they make any playmat that you want um, customizable. They, they go above and beyond. Um, shout outs to Jamie Randolph, uh, Tess a lot. Uh, shout outs to Joe Bogley and uh, Trevon Kelly. We all came here today. Um, shout outs to The Grid. Uh, it's my local in uh, Manchester, Connecticut. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know, he didn't give me a shout out. We're doing another one. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's about it. All right, appreciate the deck profile, Mike. Hope to all see right. you at some more Thank events you. coming up that in the near future. Good. Definitely, definitely. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done with all this mail for this week. Almost, almost done with all this mail for this week. Not that I'm unappreciative. It's just that, oh my gosh, it's so much. It's so much. This is why, this is why Fan Mail Monday had to end. because there's just so much. I can't be doing like two hour long videos every Monday. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, can't, can't be doing it. But you guys are incredible. You guys are absolutely incredible. And uh, what this the we couldn't end this week. You know, we can't, we couldn't end this without opening letters from our Fan Mail Monday champions, Anthony Cantos and Chris Bushka. And my stack of letters from today just totally fell into the shop. There we go. So we have a card. So some cards, I think there's more than, yeah, there's more than just one card in there. And a letter, and that's everything. So, see what you got this week. Rest in peace, Jerry. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I put that last week, I apologize. You did. <laughs> what did you do? Dear Yugi Nona, apparently there is a Yugi tuber named Yugi Yes Yes, and I could not stop laughing. It has been, has been 10 days since Jerry was uh, has left the channel at the time of me writing this letter. I find myself getting more and more sad. I do nothing now, but watch uh, reruns of Jerry uh, Seinfeld and uh, eating uh, nothing but bean <laughs> Ben and Jerry's with jelly beans. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> and, when, and when I when when I sleep, the words "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to do this to you, Jerry." <laughs> it still it still haunt me and wake me up. <laughs> crazy <laughs> but, but on the bright side here he's a, he's in a better place now but 
Now that I'm done with my uh, drama class homework, let's skip to questions. <laughs> Dude, you're freaking nuts. Okay, so, um, question number one, did you see Black Panther? I haven't watched it yet. No, seriously, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, question number two, uh, do you uh, watch any non-Yu-Gi-Oh channels? And if so, uh, who's your favorite? Um, right now, I've been watching a lot of, um, what, in a nutshell, like, they're, they're, I watch educational YouTube videos when I watch YouTube. Question number three, I remember when I, uh, when I used uh, to uh, murder my letters with tape. Yes, oh my gosh, you, I'm really glad you stopped doing that. Bet you're glad I stopped. <laughs> the next sentence goes, bet, bet you're glad I stopped doing that. <laughs> But, uh, question number four: How's uh, how's the cyber larva, and what do, what do, what do you feed him? Actually, he's with my dad right now because I can't be taking care of my own kid because I'm a deadbeat dad. I guess he's he's with his grandfather. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, leave now. Uh, these cards are for you to keep. Um, aside, Anthony Cantos. P.S. Press F for Jerry Beans, man. Yeah, for real. Press F for respects for Jerry Beans, guys. Press F. Press F. And uh, let's see. Uh, I was about to open, start opening that one. Oh, he, we have these cards. Hard to look at. Oh my gosh, dude! Thank you so much for the gifts. Like, just thank you so much every single week. Dude, you're freaking. You're you're amazing. The uh, Phantom Knights of uh, Shade uh, uh, Brigandine. <laughs> what? What is that? Brig Brig Brigandine. Brigandine or Brigandine. Um, uh, Elemental Hero of Voltic. I've actually never seen that card before. Uh, Zexo Weapon Unicorn uh, King Spear. I think this one's a fake. Yeah, this one's a fake Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. This one's a fake, dude. This one's a really good one for the collection, though. Wait, it might not be a fake. It might just be really old. You know what? This one might just be really old. I don't know. It looks kind of... No, it's fake. Uh, yeah, because the box isn't in the corner. I thought it was fake. My finger was just on where the box is. Okay, yeah. This one's fake. But, dude, an excellent card for the fake, uh, fake, fake Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Either way, I collect uh, fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, too. You, you know that, though. You know that, though. Um, that's, that's probably why you said that. I'm, I'm, yeah. Anyways. So, <laughs> Dark dark Necrofear. Dude, thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. Uh, actually, I have a play set of Secret Rare Dark Necrofears that I've had for years and years and years and years and years that I've never traded or anything. I love Dark Necrofear, actually. Thank you so much for that thank you so so much for writing every single week but now we have oh my gosh a whoa a long letter dude chris what, what are you on about this week okay so so you wrote this on 3518 hey uh, no no you can kill uh, kill me later because of how long this one is okay damn i am getting a cold out uh, just about every week now being on the top <laughs> puts a real target on your back it really does tier zero is a lonely tier <laughs> Chris Bushkas of Savage! Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone's been call every no, seriously. Everyone's been calling him the Tier One Monday Champ. Okay, every every writer has been calling him Tier One Monday Champ. He goes not nah, being Tier Zero is hard. He's Tier Zero, boys. He's beyond you. <laughs> god, this guy, this freaking guy. Oh my gosh! I uh, Anthony Cantos and the other fans uh, that make the coolest stuff are the real fan mail champs for real. Uh, your fans are so awesome. Speaking of your fans, I had a story to tell you last week that I forget. I was busy with the guests all week. Also, the uh, post office doesn't like me. It takes so long for my letters to get to you, dude. They don't like me either. Okay, I'm telling you, uh, definitely better than um, when I, I first uh, started writing. Remember that? Yes. Anyways, uh, it, for my story, yeah, because there was one. I got one letter from this guy. Seriously, guys. It, it, that got to me like weeks and weeks later and was like torn up when it got to my box and I'm like really really and the guy lives in Kansas he's on the state on top of me there's no reason why mail should take three weeks and be torn up by the time it gets here from Kansas really dumb stuff anyway for my story I was talking to uh, many people from the locals and they love you and that's really good to hear I'm glad I'm glad I don't hate me <laughs> but I never I never told you why I started writing the guy at my local said he was uh, going to write you because your videos really helped him through a tough time in his life I get that a lot like I really I really you know I'm really glad to hear it like I'm glad that uh, I don't I mean I'm glad to make you laugh or help you out like anything that my videos do for you guys I'm just I'm happy to hear like seriously but I thought it was uh, so so cool that someone would uh, take the time to get to know uh, their fans and to show off um, uh, uh, cool stuff that they were sent. Uh, some of the uh, artists uh, who sent you stuff in your uh, er early videos, oh my god, they were amazing. Yeah, and I actually uh, have videos planned um, with some people, uh, like standalone videos, like outside of the fan, this fan mail thing uh, that you guys will see in the future, but I have some uh, some projects in, in the works. Like, you guys are you, you guys will really, really like it. I have some really cool projects in the works with some people. Um, some people that you guys have actually seen on fan mail. Uh, at least one person that you guys have seen on fan mail before, so um, yeah, that's gonna be 
be really cool. Uh, so um, shout outs to uh, those people. And then uh, Jerry Beans, man, a uh, good Anthony Canto. God, Anthony Canto's always asked you for the ask you the greatest questions to help to get to, to help us to get to know you. He was uh, definitely an inspiration for me to finally write. Uh, then you hear that, Anthony? That's crazy. Uh, th then when you uh, uh, defended uh, those kids uh, in Chicago, I knew that you knew know how to do uh, life right, and I had to message you to tell you you were awesome. I then sent you uh, cards to sign because I wanted a record of your uh, awesomeness, and now uh, here we are. Also, speaking of cards signed, uh, people at my locals have cards signed by you and think you're awesome, but uh, when I ask any of them if they watch a Fan Mail Mondays, they all say, no, not true fans. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy, totally just kidding. Uh, they say the uh, videos are too long, and I can't blame them for not watching. Yeah, so, they, yeah, 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 that's like, that's another thing. Like, I was, you know, like, like, like I was playing, like, it's, 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 it's hard on me, too. Like, it's not, I mean, I know it's hard for you guys to watch, but it's hard for me to make, and it, it, that's why, like, just putting them at the ends of, like, all videos, it's just, I don't know why, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. And actually, I kind of did think of it earlier, but I didn't know how you guys would react to that, so I didn't propose it earlier until I finally was just like, no, this is really how it has to be, and, they, and they're, they're just going to have to accept it. And that when I, when I kind of came to that conclusion, I was just, you know, when you guys were really, really embracing of it, like, you guys totally understood it for the most part. Like, yeah, Fan Mail Monday's ending, but we understand that you're still going to be opening mail, which I'm doing right now. So, yeah, dude, uh, yeah, it's 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 it sucks, but, like, it's it's seriously a blessing in disguise. It really, really is. Uh, so, again, uh, sorry for the rushed uh, letter last week. I was super busy, as I know uh, you understand. Uh, maybe if you get any free time, which I doubt, you could uh, profile your Yugi Jesus deck for us, keeping the uh, two broken cards on the side deck. Did you, have you sent me enough now? I've been collecting them, but I don't know how much, like, yeah, you've been sending me multiples of three, but is there, like, is there 40 cards now, or do I have to add something? Uh, if you guys didn't know, Chris Bushka has been, like, seriously, like, he's, he's been sending me, like, custom Yu-Gi-Oh cards, okay? Like, like a Yugi Jesus deck, okay? And, like, he's been sending, like, play sets of cards, like, you know, through the weeks, you know, like, collecting them. I've been collecting them. I have a box of them, but, like, is there is there enough now? Like, I, you need to, like, I, I, I guess I can look myself, but um, not right now, because I'm, I'm doing this, but seriously. Last thing, I know your uh, voice box uh, hates me right now. I don't uh, want to uh, confirm, um, uh, deny anything, but we got a couple of comments that might suggest that every mat on the uh, the, la the list is a brown mat, which would mean that your mat collection was complete. Yes, yeah, and actually, yeah, that's what I was talking about um, in your last letter that, that I was uh, that I read um, the other day. Um, so um, don't quote me on it uh, on it yet. Uh, I, I will keep trying. So if you guys did not know, um, you guys have probably seen, but I collect uh, starter deck and structure deck mats, and um, you know you guys know that. And um, you, uh, through mail, you send me some of the ones that that I don't have, you know, because people kind of throw them out. No one really collects those starter deck and structure deck paper mats, and at some point. A long time ago, I decided that I wanted to collect them because they're really cool and they're just really cool, just Yu Gi Oh product and the art on them. So, you know, usually really cool, you know, as well. So, I started collecting those, and you guys, like, and Chris and everybody has been really helping me complete my collection. I can't thank you enough. Anyways, though, sorry if this uh, shows up. Uh, with the other letter, the other one's uh, super short, but I totally understand it. After this letter, you want to uh, you want to uh, burn my future letters because of how long this one is. No, it's completely fine. Uh, hopefully, I will uh, be uh, less busy soon, uh, so I can uh, send more of my uh, cool, um, cool um, uh, something. He says cool. Um, it's cool parentheses sometimes. Okay, okay. Cool is parentheses sometimes stuff. Your stuff's cool all the time. Also, forget to um. I also forgot to mention I was not the inventor of the uh, of tit slapping the like button and gender equality. <laughs> that, that honor belongs to Miss Yugi Nono, who said it in a video a long time ago. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, yeah, she did. I just I just copied her. Until then, be sure to uh, genderly appropriate slap that like button and subscribe from Chris. Bushka. Thank you so much for your letter. Dude. Dude, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, me, and Chris, me and Chris have uh, something special planned for you guys, too, in the future. So that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, but until then, until then, guys, that is everything for this week. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to finally, you know, uh, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not happy to be done. But I'm like, at the same time, it is kind of a relief to, to have all this open. And just thank you all so, 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 so much, seriously, for, for sending everything and for sending me cards and sending me cards to sign. And, and just, you know, in, insert the million thank yous that I normally do <laughs> at the end of these years just thank you just all seriously so 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 much and um, as always guys as always be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe subscribe <laughs> <laughs>